Hi, I'm Manu Ferrari. I'm a Bitcoiner. I'm Argentine. I've been in Bitcoin since full life since early 2018. But I knew a, a little bit about that uh, through friends uh, from early days. I thought it was crazy and they, they were wrong. But now I'm, I've been told that I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. I'm more like, a, I, I describe m more myself like a Bitcoin mutant because it's like the, the next stage when you, you, you know Bitcoin is, is a great monetary technology, but you want to scale the use of Bitcoin outside Bitcoin la layer two. I'm one of the co-founders of Money on Chain. It's a protocol that been built on top of a Bitcoin sidechain, which is called Rustock. And this protocol, we, we built the first stablecoin fully backed by Bitcoin. It's a over collateralized protocol. So, for example, now for each dollar on chain, which is the stablecoin, like Tether, but running on, on this Bitcoin sidechain, there is like six dollars in Bitcoin as collateral. So it's over collateralized and it's protected by Bitcoin miners. This is running on top of RSK, Rustock, which is a Bitcoin sidechain, sidechain which is merged mined by Bitcoin miners. Actually, 50% of Bitcoin miners are mining this sidechain. And on the other side, one of my hobbies, and I, 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 I give in as much time as I, I, I can. Uh, really, this is like a hobby, but it's also an, a, a, a way of, of for me to learning more about what is happening in Bitcoin Layer 2s, we, 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 I, I co-founded a, a podcast. Actually, it's, it's a bi-weekly Twitter space, which is called Bitcoin Escala, which is in Spanish for Spanish speaking audience, uh, focus on Lightning Network, Rustock and Liquid and all the about these technologies and all the projects and all the old people building on top of these second layer technologies. I think Bitcoin, when, when I say that I'm a Bitcoin uh, maximalist, I more, I would describe myself li like a Bitcoin monetary maximalist. I think l l that the, the monetary properties of Bitcoin the idea of building a, a, a new money, a digital money that is scarce by itself. For being scarce, it, this invention that ha happened, uh, I don't think it could be duplicated uh, or, or that the properties in the, long, uh, in the long term and the game theory behind people using this and the network that uh, Bitcoin has reached, it would be very, very difficult for other networks to, to duplicate or to replicate. And, and the history b behind this technology, it will be impossible to, 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 to replicate. Uh, if you are willing to invent a new money, uh, at the end there is some people who is building it, it's centralized in, in different ways, uh, I think it will be very different, very difficult f to replicate this, this thing that happened. I don't know if uh, Satoshi, when he wanted to build it, he thought that it was going to be successful, but now it's successful. And I think it would be very diff difficult to, to, duplica to duplicate this to, or to replicate this. I'm not maximalist in a way that I think there, there can be tokens that can have different utility cases, for example, to pay gas for, for doing transactions, or these tokens can represent a future income or a, a stream of income, because if you are holding this token, you are receiving some fees of people using some things. So I'm not maximalist in that sense. I'm quite open-minded in that sense. Actually, I, I, I co-founded a protocol that has several tokens, and, and I think there is a lot of life outside Bitcoin main chain, and also in different chains. Uh, 
you know, in Ethereum, there is a lot of people, millions of people using other, other blockchains. Uh, but I don't think as, a, as money, as this digital scarce money, I don't think that other token has the same property as Bitcoin. When, when we decided to, to build money on chain, we decided to build it because we think that Bitcoin can be the backbone of the, a new financial system, more transparent financial system, and that on top of Bitcoin you can build a decentralized, uh, decentralized credit system, uh, lending, uh, waste stock exchanges, whatever. You can build a new financial system as the way, for example, that now is being built on top of Ethereum or in other, other blockchains. The same you can build it on top of Bitcoin with a much robust and a much better money as a base layer. Okay, so what we are building and what is already happening with Lightning Network, with RSK and with other protocols and also with protocols running on other blockchains is we are replicating this financial system in a much transparent and more freer, with more freedom. Okay, I, I think is. Uh, it's going, we will have these two systems, the traditional financial system, very, very centralized, um, uh, completely regulated uh, in many, many countries, especially in, in many countries, it, it's going to be a dystopian financial system. And we will have Bitcoin and uh, a trust minimized uh, financial system where you will be, you will be the owner and you will have the responsibility on what you are using, but you will have uh, freedom and sovereignty on your financial assets. Um, you know, I'm an Argentine. Uh, I, I've been, me and my friends and my parents and all the people that I know in Argentina have been stolen by governments many, many times in our history, in the last 100 years at least. So i I building this for me. I build in this for my family and for my kids. I need it. We need it. So uh, I think this, 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 and actually this is happening. This is something when we started building this stablecoin, uh, everybody thought we, you are crazy. And, and now already it, it is working. And there is, I know at least four different projects that are building Bitcoin back stablecoins. And I hope, I really hope that many, many projects uh, succeed on this because this is going to give, for example, in, in Argentina, you cannot use, uh, uh, you cannot have a US dollar bank account. And, and, but stable coins is, for that reason, are very, very important in a country like with 100% inflation where the government steal your money at any moment. So this is a, a, a technology very, very important for, for people for millions of people all in Zimbabwe, in Argentina, in Venezuela, many, many countries in the world. This is my first time in Spain. I'm, my, my, my wife is, is, uh, has a Spanish uh, citizenship. She's been here before. And I'm, I'm amazed with, first with the country. Then Mallorca is an amazing place. I've only been, this is my second day and one day in the beach, actually a couple of hours. And so this is a place like amazing to come. Um, but about the conference, it won already been one day in the conference. And um, this are, is the kind of conferences that I love because it's, well, the title, it was for people who is obsessed about Bitcoin and freedom. And, and liberty. And if you go to my Twitter account, I'm a, a freedom maximalist. Uh, so this is the kind of conference that I love. Small, that I, I can meet real Bitcoiners, people thinking about how to make this world more, more free for everyone. And Bitcoin is a, is a great technology that can help on that. So it's, it's a way, you know, listen to Richard Wagner that I've been listening to him in YouTube for many years and he's a, an amazing economist, 
having the chance to talk with him in person, that, that kind of people is, is really interesting for me.